Using tables in Microsoft Word can be very helpful as a way to organize information. A table is made up of columns, rows, and cells. As you can see in my example here, I have a table with five columns and four rows. So I have a column for name, I have a column for phone, a column for email, a column for city and state, and a column for office 2010. So going across, I have one, two, three, four, five columns. Now this table has four rows. The first row I've used as a title row for my table, and then below the title there are three blank rows. So because this table has five columns and four rows, we call this table, refer to it as a five by four table. Now before you start using tables, and you're going to get some practice in the assignments and the exercises this week, I'd like to show you how to move around the table and do some formatting. So if I want to type a name in this table, I click in this cell, which is in row 2, column 1, and I can type the name. Now to move to the next cell, I can use my mouse and click in the cell, or I can use the tab key to move to the next cell. So again, you can use your mouse to click and put the entry in, or you can use your tab key to move to the next cell. Now just the same way it works in Word documents when you're typing letters, essays, papers, the word wrap feature also works in tables. So if I'm going to type the name of a city and a state and it's bigger than the cell, in this case I'm going to use the full name, you could see that it automatically word wrapped or continued on to the next line. Now, in a table, if you press enter within a cell, it creates a blank line, so it does not move you to the next cell. If you want to get rid of that blank line, you can backspace and delete it. Now, you'll be learning some uh, tips on how to size tables, how to insert and delete rows or columns in future lessons, but this week we'll spend time on formatting. So if you want to format a t information in a table, it works the same as it does in your Word document. So you can select the items in your table, and you could select, let's say, an entire row and apply some kind of formatting. Let's just say that we want to change the font to a different color. You can apply formatting only to a specific cell, so maybe you want the phone number to be a bigger font. You can apply formatting to an entire table, to specific rows or columns or cells, uh, just like you do in Word documents. You can also align the data within the cells. So for example, if I want the phone column to be centered, I could select the column and then up here on the alignments button in the paragraph section, I could click on center and it would center the text. You might want to know how to align the table in your document. If you select your entire table, you can use the indent feature to increase the indent which will move your table in. So again, just as a review, a table is made up of columns, rows, and cells. You can use your mouse or the tab key on your keyboard to move around through the table. And you can format the table using almost all the same formatting that you can use in Microsoft Word.